So we had stellar earnings from Apple, Microsoft, and Google, but the fourth big tech company to report, Facebook, disappointed us here. Or I guess I should say Meta now, because that's officially their new name. And the ticket symbol that they're gonna get is going to be M-E-T-A. They managed to get rights to that. Anyways, we see this cliff diving graph here it seems to be quite common in recent weeks. And Facebook is the latest victim here, falling 25% after they reported their earnings last night. This move essentially resulted in hundreds of billions of dollars lost in valuation for this business. And uh, you know, investors are asking, is this an overreaction? Is this a buying opportunity? Should we be staying away from Facebook? And I hope to answer those questions with facts, detailed, some insight from the earnings, and hopefully you guys find some value in that. And if you do guys, you've been asking me to create a video on this. So hopefully you appreciate this. And if you do just hit the like button, subscribe for brand new here as well. So getting right into it, let's start off with what they reported first and then we'll look at some of the red flags. First off, we can see that from a high level, their EPS missed here by 16 cents, but revenue did beat by $230 million. More importantly though, this was up 20% year over year. Now in terms of year-over-year -year comparison for their platforms for active users, this number grew year-over-year -year as well in the single digits, which is to be expected since this company literally has a few billion people on their platform and they've more or less reached saturation here. So in my opinion, this is not really a big surprise. We all saw this coming. So the shock, as with most stocks so far this earnings season, comes with their guidance. Firstly, they expect expenses to be around 90 to 95 billion dollars for 2022, which is a huge sum of money, objectively speaking, even for a business the size of Facebook. They expect CapEx to be 29 to 34 billion dollars. Now, I know I keep saying Facebook, I should say Meta. It's kind of a mental thing, I gotta change it. But anyways, let's continue. So now we know that Meta is in the you know investment phase of the business right now, where they're putting a ton of money to build out the metaverse. That is really what this whole business is focused on in the future, and that's where a lot of their money's going, and that's where a lot of investors' attention is focused on right now because it, it, it naturally leads to a few questions on what's the sustainability of this long term. It's clear based on their guidance that they are going to be spending tens of billions of dollars building out this potential for the future. And naturally that could make some investors nervous. But anyways, funny enough, that isn't necessarily in my opinion what moved the stock so much. It was more so what their short-term guidance here for Q1 2022 is. So they expect revenue for this upcoming quarter to be around 27 to $29 billion versus the $30 billion initially expected by analysts. And this represents only a 3% growth on the low end or, you know, optimistically an 11% growth on the high end. So we've seen this story before. Recently, PayPal reported earnings. They reported that they, their growth is slowing down and bam, stock got punished. And this time it's Facebook. They're reporting growth is going to be slowing down. Bam, investors sold off. We're down 25%. Okay, so now let's kind of talk about some of the concerns investors have after looking through this earnings report. Firstly, the question that investors are going to be asking is Facebook losing focus from its core here, which is advertising. That's, that's an important question. Secondly, is competition eating into Facebook's market? Is that why we're getting a lower guidance here? Thirdly, are they spending too much money? 90 to $95 billion is a lot of money. Is that worth it? And finally, number four, will their investments in the metaverse actually pan out to something, you know, material which will create a lot of value for the business in the future. So these are some of the many questions investors are asking. I'd say these are probably the most important ones. And obviously the sentiment right now is quite negative, quite bearish. People don't like what they're hearing from Facebook. And that has resulted again in this huge sell off. So what I thought we'd do now is kind of break these concerns down a little bit more, look into them and kind of use some, you know, facts, some numbers to kind of have an idea of, you know, how this business is going to do over the next few years. So firstly, in terms of advertising, you know, concerns about this, are they really struggling? Well, we can see in Q4 2021, it was actually their best quarter on record for them with ad revenue coming in over $32 billion. But we do see that their operating margin fell quite a bit here year over year, despite their revenue increase. This of course leads us to their net income, which for the first time here was down year over year from 11.2 billion down to 10.2 billion. The good news though, however, if you break it down even further, look at free cash flow, which is like a metric I absolutely love looking at because it shows us the true money generated from the business. 
it's up from $9.2 billion to $12.5 billion year over year. So this significant increase actually gives me a lot of confidence that Facebook is still a cash generating machine. So based on these numbers, facts, I don't believe Facebook is losing focus on their core market. They're still executing well. They're still the best place to advertise to small businesses and they are still producing a ton of cash flow. Now one concern though with their advertising is around the whole Apple privacy and you know competitors getting a piece of the pie because of the Apple privacy change and Facebook acknowledged that this is going to be a big headwind. They say in their earnings that this will actually hurt them by $10 billion in 2022 and it's actually slowed down their e-commerce growth quite significantly. So over time I think this Apple effect will normalize however if we get bigger issues like maybe Android implements something like this or there's just a lot more pushback from the way Facebook advertises, it's gonna impact them quite significantly. And maybe that's kind of what investors are pricing in right now. But at this stage in the game, I think that $10 billion, while it is a significant amount of money, isn't going to necessarily break Facebook long term. And over time, this will normalize and year over year comparisons will start to look strong once again. Think about it, next quarter, it's gonna be comparing to a quarter where there was no privacy issue changes and all that kind of stuff. So naturally, those headwinds are going to impact their earnings. Interestingly enough, from this statement, it also explains why e-commerce stocks are suffering today with Amazon down, Mercado Libre down, Shopify down. They're getting trashed and it's because here Facebook saying, yeah, e-commerce is starting to get a little bit of a beating. Okay, so now let's kind of talk a little bit about the concerns around the virtual reality, augmented reality space, and the metaverse. So in the new segment breakdown here for Meta for their reality labs, they state that expenses for the metaverse spending was up 48% to $4.2 billion, and losses for 2021 was actually above $10 billion. So just think about that for a second. They're just getting started here with the metaverse. They're just starting to put a lot of effort in and they lost $10 billion last year. So obviously that's going to be amplified this year as they increase spending. Wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, anywhere between 20, $25 billion in losses. Then again, you couple this with the $10 billion of headwind that the Apple privacy changes has. And obviously you can see here why investors are concerned that Facebook is spending a lot of money on this. But you know what, I gotta take a step back here and actually provide you some more information because it's not all doom and gloom here with these losses. Facebook has a stellar balance sheet, over $165 billion in total assets and only $41 billion in liabilities. So they have room to take some big losses here for quite a few years and still be in a very strong financial position. Out of all the companies out there that want to go into the metaverse so bad, Facebook is probably the best position here because they have that cash to just burn, try things out, see what sticks. And so far, it's obviously cost them a lot of money, but they're generating a ton of cash to make up for it, so not really a big concern right now. But what this is doing now, of course, is it's making investors realize, okay, Facebook is doubling down on this. They're spending a lot of money. They are gonna see a lot of losses. And the numbers that we've seen in the last, say, five years are just not gonna be as good in the next five years because of the reinvestment they're putting in to the metaverse here and their Oculus and all that kind of stuff. So you as a potential investor or an existing investor in Facebook have to make that decision. Do you believe that this bet that Facebook's making will pan out over time? Or do you think they're just wasting a lot of money here and the end result will just kind of be something that, you know, maybe we don't even end up with the metaverse, who knows? That's kind of where your judgment as an investor has to come in. But hold on, before you make a decision on that, let me provide you another piece of information and that's around buybacks. Facebook purchased over $19 billion of shares in Q4 and they still have almost $39 billion authorized to repurchase. So with this stock down big today, 25% discount, I'm sure Facebook is out there doing some damage control by scooping up shares on the cheap. There's a lot of negative sentiment around Facebook right now. People are dumping this stock because they don't believe in the story, they don't like the direction the company is going, and Facebook has the capital to kind of offset a little bit of those losses by buying back some of their shares. Another thing that I can see Facebook doing is making a sizable purchase for another business, maybe like Roblox or Unity, one of those companies that has a really good you know, hold on the future of the metaverse and what they're doing today could definitely be replicated in the metaverse. So maybe Facebook takes a leap into that, they get into other segments, focus more on gaming. We'll see what happens, but they're in a very strong financial position to make these sort of moves. 
if it's not blocked by the government and regulators. Now guys, from a technical perspective, we've come down to a 200 moving average on the weekly, which has been tested once in 2018, once in 2020, and both times we hovered around there for a few weeks until the stock eventually bottomed and moved higher. So I would say there's a pretty good chance Facebook finds some sort of bottom here around this 230, 240 level over the next few weeks, which could lead to some good upside long-term. And you gotta remember, they are still growing, even though it's slower growth, it is still growth year over year. They are still generating a ton of cash. And of course, they are buying back their shares as well. So there's a lot pushing this company to be bigger and better in the future. In my opinion, the risk reward here at you know below $250 per share seems quite favorable. And it's hard to argue that with the stability that this company gives you with their balance sheet and all that kind of stuff, that it isn't one of the better stocks to invest in today. What I also find interesting is that their fourth PE is most likely going to drop now into the teens after today's sell off. And before today, it was actually sitting around a 24. So this may be one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest valuation you're getting for Facebook here historically, and actually makes it, I think, the cheapest big tech company as well. So overall, Facebook has a lot of question marks about their future, but I think that their core business is still gonna produce just enough cash long term. Think about it. A few years ago, before they made this shift to focus on virtual reality and the metaverse, everyone was content with Facebook. They're doing fine. Yeah, competitions here, competition may steal some of their market share, but the company's still growing. They're still producing a ton of cash. Free cash flow is great. Revenue's growing, all that kind of stuff. Everything's good. But now because they're focused a little bit more on something else, they're placing big bets on something new that isn't necessarily known or proven out yet, investors are skeptical. They're dumping shares. And hey, this could be a great long-term opportunity to hold a company that could be one up, if not the leader in the metaverse in the future. All I'll say is, you know, Zuckerberg built a business here in the last few years to be one of the largest companies in the world. So I wouldn't necessarily bet against him. And if he has a vision to really build out the metaverse and we see other companies starting to get into this space as well and put big bucks into this, there's probably something good that comes out of this from meta over the long term. Anyways, guys, hope this video was valuable. If it was, again, hit the like button, subscribe if you're brand new here. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to invest positively, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.